Sundays at 3.30 on the Hallmark Channel. Subpoenas, delivery thereof. Word is, you're this far from losing the fancy suit. Study the humble tortoise. What? Pull your head in. You ready to go? No choice. Joined at the hip. Jennifer, keep him on a leash, OK? Sure. Under orders, eh? No worry. I'm backing off. Right, so that's why you're still running through old notes. Frank, what's the problem? Is he OK? No, just leave him where he is. I'll be there in 10 minutes. I'm going to make a detour. Matt, I thought you said you were backing off. I'm supposed to... This is not about the Conway thing. It's personal. Ah! Callum! Oh, geez, Matt, Matt, hey. Stop being a goose. Callum. You're only costing young Matt money. Dad, hey, that's oh, enough, hey? Matty. What do you think you're doing? Where did you spring from, mate? Frank called me. Frank, the bastard! No, 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 mate. He's just trying to look out for you, hey? But you know, it's too much booze, yeah? It doesn't agree with your medication. Yeah. My medication is no bloody use. It doesn't work. Look oh, at me. It's all right, mate. I'll just take it easy. You know what day it is tomorrow. You haven't forgotten? Of course I do. It's all right, Dad, yeah? It's going to be all right. It's just... It's not right. It's not bloody right. Hey, Dad. What have you done now, mate, eh? Cut your hand, huh? Sorry, mate. It's all right. I miss her, maybe I miss her. I miss her too. I don't know. Let's get you home. He's a good bloke, young Matty. Sorry about this. It's okay. He's not a drunk. It's his medication. He has these um, blackouts. Mini blackouts, really. Most of the time, he's fine. Won't be long. Someone's coming over to look after him. Mum's sister's mother's mother. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Italians. It's fine, Matt. Is that your mum? Yeah. It's none of my business, but... She's dead. Well, at least that's the assumption. She disappeared. It was, um... Actually, the last photograph she had taken before it happened. How long ago? 16 years tomorrow. She tears him up. Worse than me, I think. It happened on my birthday. She was making a fennel salad, ran out of balsamic, went down to the shops. She never came back. I was just a kid at the time, there was nothing I could do. Well, maybe you're doing it now. We need to talk. No, you don't. You've got more to It's OK. This deliver. won't take long. Matt? It's OK. Toilet. You think I'm bent, don't you? I never said that. Oh, you didn't have to. Why else are you on the case? Every time I talk to somebody, you've already been there. Why didn't you formally interview Harry McIntosh the first time around? Caretaker? I spoke to him on the night. He told me he saw nothing. Have you spoken to him since? Yes, this afternoon after you. And what about Alex Zammett? Yeah, real the parade aren't going to let me anywhere near a government minister. And that suits you just fine. You want to see how bent I am? How would you like to sit in my next interview? Hmm? Hey. I've been thinking about what you said about Conway coming back from Spain for no good reason. I got in touch with one of the coppers who picked him up in London. He said Conway wasn't surprised when they arrested him. It's like he knew they were coming. 
Well, how'd they get the tip off? Anonymous phone call. Mail. Plus, Conway hadn't booked a return flight because he knew he wasn't going back. So he was forced to come back here. To face the music on Suzanne Pendleton. Correct. And there's only one bloke I can think of who had any interest in seeing that happen. And I know where to find him. Thanks for this. It's amazing what they can do these days, separating Siamese twins. I'll cover for you. Get rid of the rest of the subpoenas. I'd say you've got about three hours. Thanks. This is my gig, Ryan. See if you can manage to keep your mouth shut. I haven't got a clue what you're talking about. I'm suggesting, Walter, that it was you who forced Jim Conway to come back to Australia. And how did I do that? Wouldn't be hard to find out where he was living in Spain, would it? It's pretty common knowledge. And I've already checked, so I know you didn't travel. So what did you do? Phone him? Because we can check that out too. What if I did phone him? Why would I want him back here? Because it wasn't just Susan's life he took, was it? How did you get him to come back, Walter? I told him in no uncertain terms that if he didn't return to face justice, I would do to his mother what he did to my daughter. Take her up to some high place. Chuck her off. Conway's mother's in a wheelchair. Oh, for God's sake, I wouldn't have actually done it, but that, that scum had to be punished before I died. And how did he react to your threat? Oh, he carried on. Pleaded with me. Don't hurt her. She's been through enough already. But I didn't back down. Then he started milling on about his innocence. Did he offer any alternatives? Certain government minister, perhaps? Well, Samus. <laughs> oh, you're not taking that seriously, are you? Tim Conway killed my daughter, and now he's killed himself. Yeah. He committed suicide to take himself out of the equation. Because he was afraid of the jail sentence. Maybe, but he was also scared that if he told the truth, you'd think he was lying and still carry out your threat. With him gone, there'd be no point doing that with them. Did he say anything to you about Harry McIntosh, the caretaker? He claimed that he knew the truth, that Samet had paid him off, but I, uh, I, I didn't believe that. I, I knew Samet, I'd met him, and so... So would Suzanne. Well, we've got nowhere to go now. Conway's mother deserves the truth, and... We have got somewhere else to go. What? The caretaker? You're joking. Not if we play by Mulholland's rules. So we don't. Tits in the ring of time. Oh, back here to see Casanova, are you? Bit of a lad, is he, Harry? He's on with Norma as well, you know. Oh, here he comes, looking very pleased with himself. Where have you been? You and Norma had a bit of a win, did you? Why are you back? Same reason I am, Harry. We've come to take you with us, Harry. We know all about the deal you did with Alex Samet. That's preposterous. Harry, mate, either you tell us the truth and we protect you, or you wait for Zamet to realise how ugly this is getting and you take your chances with him. He's been paying for your silence so far. Maybe now I'd be looking for a more permanent guarantee. I knew this would come back and bite me on the backside. 